All right, all right. So you got an ML 350 maybe. I don't know. Some, one of those old looking, weird looking ML. <laughs> and you got a misfire. It's missing, it's missing. What do I do? What do I do? I usually get that code, the P300 code. Maybe a 301, 302. Or if you're using the German scanner, you might get one of those beautiful uh, German code numbers that we love to use okay but uh nine out of ten not always most times it's going to be one of these little things here these ignition coils or it could be the wires as well uh, what you need to know on this type of bends is that the ignition coil actually comes with this is a six cylinder and actually comes with um you're going to have an A side and a B side. If you look closely, uh, I don't know if my camera can pick it up, but you'll see like a, a, a 4A and a 4B, uh, which will actually tell you that that's cylinder number four. Now, don't look at these because obviously uh, people switch these around, so it's not the correct way to tell what cylinder uh, you're changing. But on this one, is actually right because the customer probably never changed uh, their coils before. Uh, usually when you change these, you want to change these wires too, so you don't have to come back and spark plug if you get a misfire code. Now, a lot of things could also cause a misfire, uh, sometimes the injector. You may have a vacuum leak somewhere. Uh, a few days ago, I had one where the EGR valve was stuck open and is actually giving me a misfire code. So make sure you check all those stuff. Um, when I was checking this car out, oh, I can't start it now, actually, to call this out, but... I'm uh, using my scanner, and I, I could actually see that the uh, number four uh, uh, was not firing, the number four B. So actually one part of the coil was firing, um, and the other part wasn't. And the same thing was happening for number five. And the funny part is that I was getting a code for uh, a number three cylinder misfire. <laughs> so we actually changed these coils, we put two coils inside, changed the wires, and the plugs started it up and it was brand new so just a little tip on that um, make sure you buy the right plugs too platinum Bosch if you can cheap don't buy the cheap um, AutoZone ones <laughs> the Japanese made ones you know so you could just do it once and don't have to do it three times and you should be back on the road in no time okay any questions about this uh, particular model? I think it's a 2003 ML uh, 320, 350, excuse me, okay? And the code number is actually a misfire code. I'll give you the number if, I have, if my computer will work with me here. Okay, the code number that came up was actually misfire number three. Funny part is the number three cylinder is not misfire. Um, the German code would be would, uh, would be P2053, and this code will come up with a P03, sorry, P0303. Now, you also, if you look closely, it says, uh, which I'll zoom in on, it'll say TWC damages. What that simply means is uh, your catalytic converter, okay? Inside of a combustion chamber, we have gas, and we have spark, and we have air. Um, but what happens when a cylinder doesn't misfire? Okay, that gas has to go somewhere. I mean, some of the new cars will actually shut the injector off, but, you know, uh, some of these older cars will actually spit the gas into the chamber knowing that that cylinder is misfiring, okay? And what happens then is... You have all this gas leaking down into the exhaust manifold and eventually it gets into your cat. And the material inside of your catalytic converter is this honeycomb uh, jelly type um, of material. And it doesn't like gas. And what the gas does, the excess gas from misfiring, is it um, it deteriorates this, this, uh, chem this, uh, this type of uh, uh, honeycomb material. And that will, you know, be the death of your catalytic converter after a while. And you guys know how much a catalytic converter costs for these cars. They're very expensive. So don't be that fool. 
As soon as your car is misfiring, try to get it fixed as soon as possible because it's going to cause other problems and it's going to be more expensive problems, especially if your car is a German car. <laughs> All right. So any questions, uh, leave in the comments or hit me back up. All right. Later, guys.